Hello and welcome, here's a new FreeCAD tutorial and this one is about assemblies. You see I'm using FreeCAD 0.19 and now I'm changing to the part design workbench to create two simple parts that I'm going to assemble to one. Ok, I press create new to create the first part, which will be a kind of ring. First I create the body, then the sketch. And for the plane I select the XY plane, so that I have a view from the top onto the sketch. And of course for this ring, or disc is the better word, I start with a circle. I hover over the point here at the center, it turns yellow. Then I click the left mouse button, then I drag out the circle. And another one again from the center to create the outer circle. Ok, the part will have a hole in the middle. But I want to define the exact radius, so I go here to the arc or circle constraint. First for the inner circle and I set the radius to 2. Then again for the outer circle and this radius could be for example 5 mm. Ok, that's it, we have the constraints, now we can close the sketch. And then I click here the pad task to extrude it. I set the length here to let's say 2 mm. It's just an example, doesn't really matter. Then I press OK and we have the first part. Nice, now I go ahead and save the file and save it for instance as part ring. And I also give the body a name. Alright, now we create the next part, so I press here the new button. And we can already save it to a file and this one I will call part holder. It will be a kind of holder for the ring. We start again by adding a body. You can click this blue icon here. Here it is, then I press F2 to rename it and set the name to body underscore holder. Ok, now let's add the sketch. You can press this icon here. And this time I set the plane to the X set plane so that we have a view from the front onto the sketch. For the holder we are sketching one side and I will use the polyline tool to sketch it. I start here at the axis, just click for each point that you want to set and you see that the vertical and horizontal constraints are added automatically because we enabled auto constraints. Again I hover here over the axis, it turns yellow so that we get the coincident constraint for the point and the last point I set here at the position of the first point to create a closed shape. Alright, now let's add a few constraints for the length. The first one for this edge, I set it to 25mm. I right click to get rid of the selected tool and then I can drag the label of the constraint. Ok, another one I set for this edge, which I set to 5mm. That's ok, what I will do is to rotate the sketch around the set axis to create the solid, the 3D object, and the part in the middle should go through the hole of the ring we created. Now we can go back to the ring to see that the circle in the inside has a radius of 2mm. So go ahead and add another constraint. We know that this edge has a length of 5mm. So I add a constraint for this edge and set the length to 3.1 mm. Because then we can be sure that the part here in the middle is thinner than the whole of the ring. Ok, I close the sketch again and this time I'm going to rotate the sketch to create a solid shape. For this I click this icon to revolve a sketch. And here you can see the result. The last thing that I want to add is a chamfer for this edge here, so that we can better see where the ring is located when we assemble the parts. So I press the chamfer icon, the size I keep at 1mm and press OK to close it. I press save all and then I will create a new, the last document to assemble the parts. 
So I press new and then save the file and name it for instance assemb parts. Okay, for this one I activate another workspace, which is called A2+. For this you have to activate an add-on that you find here in the tools add-on manager. Here it is A2+, I already installed it. If you haven't already, you can select it and press install update selected. A2 Plus is an add-on to assemble parts in a very easy and simple way. I think the best way to understand the workflow and the basics is just to follow this example. First I press this button to import parts from files. And as you know we saved the parts to these files, so I import the holder first. Then we see it in the viewport and then I press the button again to import the ring part. Okay, now the ring is located here at the bottom, but I want the face at the bottom of the ring to be attached to the top face of the holder. To do this, I have to add a constraint of the A2 Plus workbench, but for this I have to select the bottom face of the ring, which is a bit tedious now because it overlaps with the holder. So I move the ring a bit downwards by setting the set location to minus one, then I can select this face. And after that with the control key pressed I select this face of the holder. To that I want to attach the ring. To do that I can select this constraint, a plain coincident constraint. And then you see the ring part is attached to the selected face. Ok, but now let me show you the real benefit of defining constraints in the assembly workbench and this is when you are going to change the parts after the assembly. So open the sketch of the holder again. You find it here and then I change, for example here, the length constraint. It is set to 25mm and I change the value to 10. Then I close the sketch and then you see the body looks like that. But I want the ring part still to be attached to this face. Ok, so let's see, I open the assembly parts document. I try to refresh by pressing this button and if this doesn't work, you should save the files that you modified, in our case the holder. And here we have the result. The ring attached to the face. Ok, that's what I wanted to show, if you like you can assign some random colors so that you can better see the different parts. So guys, I hope you liked the tutorial, if you do then let me know and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Please support me by being my Patreon, this would really help a lot. Or join here as a channel member, follow me on my Instagram, Twitter or Facebook and I'll see you in the next one here on JNM.